Today we come to you with a very special video, as this is a story about a cooperation not only between two countries, but a collaboration between like-minded people in the field of agriculture, innovation and technology. Our CEO will explain more about this unique project and I'll be back with you shortly. Hello and welcome. My name is David. I'm the CEO and founder of Smartcast and uh, today we come to you with a special video. In the previous video I already mentioned to you that we have a very special project coming up that is outside of our usual geographical area, which is Europe obviously because we are a Dutch company based in Amsterdam. This project is based in Brazil and it's not only special because of its location and because of the different technologies and solutions that we're going to use, but also especially nature of the support that we received from both the Dutch and the Brazilian governments. The actual point of the video is not only to tell you about the project, but we would also like to shout out the people who've been tirelessly helping us and thank them for their efforts. As a brief summary of the parameters of the project, it's located in the southeast of Brazil, uh, in the state of Minas Gerais, and well over 70 hectares of land. Now you might be wondering what a vertical farming and precision farming controlled environment agriculture company is going to do with 70 hectares of land, but well, we have a solution for it. We actually want to take a step down and go with a lower technological sophistication level, but in exchange kind of mix the high-tech elements with the low-tech ones. Our plan is to build at least 20 hectares of high-tech greenhouses in a greenhouse complex, with the germination being taken care of in a vertical farming cell. This climate cell will be responsible for uh, assisting the seeds all the way from seed level into growing into young plants, grow strong roots and a strong shaft so they may be replanted into the greenhouse where we can use the nature to nurture those plants further. The very special and unique properties of this land are that it's located in just the right area to have stable and good temperature all year round. We have actually received a government approved and completed full feasibility study uh, together with the help of the Dutch and Brazilian governments. We use this feasibility study for humidity, for rain, for all kinds of irrigation purposes, temperature, and in general to get a better sense of the area before we even have the first shovel in the ground. One of the very beneficial factors on this land is that there is actually a river running through it, so we can use not only the rainwater and the humidity captured from the air through atmospheric water generation, but also the river itself for fresh water and through UVM membrane filtering use that water for irrigation. In terms of energy and lighting, because the land is in such a good location, geographically speaking, with its relative angle towards the sun, that we have sunny hours from February all the way to November. This means that there is less of a reliance on artificial light, LED lights, and more of uh, nature's warmth, essentially nurturing those tomatoes and salads. There are some people involved with this project that we would like to give special thanks to. Mr. Igor Eto. Thank you so much for helping us on a state level and for scheduling the meetings with the governor. Mr. Eros Biondini, thank you for supporting us and connecting us to the state, federal and local governments. Ms. Aline Gonzalez and Nivaldo Andrade, thank you for letting us build this project in your municipality and for your amazing support. And last but not least, we would like to thank all these people that were also a key factor in helping us get this far. As you can see with uh, all the local and the Dutch support that we are getting for this project, the size of the area, the location, because it is in a prime location geographically speaking, as well as the crop physiology, offtake and import-export routes completely arranged, we are looking at a massive project, not only in terms of numbers with regards to financials, but also in terms of the impact. We expect uh, this to be the cornerstone of technology transfer and knowledge sharing between the two countries, as well as a new stepping stone for the Dutch uh, greenhouse industry and horticultural powerhouse to have its footing in Brazil, besides the already existing three massive projects. And we would like to essentially copy paste this project over to other states and eventually to other countries in Southern America. 
The construction of this project is expected to start in 2022 and we wish to finish it by early or mid-2023. Uh, uh, once the project is uh, fully operational, that's not over yet because we would like to collaborate with the local university because there's a university right next door and there is also an expo hall with I think over 10,000 square meter space. So we would like to combine this also with educational sessions, uh, but also with research and development and essentially involving the Brazilians and the Dutch in a mutually successful project. We already have interest from another state uh, to do the exact same project, but obviously we would like to see this project develop a little bit further before we commit to a second project within the same country. I believe that this can happen in relatively quick succession and the so far, very positive trend shows us that LATAM is definitely the region for SmartCast to expand into. And we would like to see many SmartCast projects in the region, not only in Brazil. Thank you for watching all the way till the end of the video. We believe that only through cooperation we can achieve food security for all. Feel free to join us on our mission by giving us something as little as a like on this video. That way we can spread the word and make an even bigger impact. Stay tuned for more updates.